Welcome to Highline Excel 2013, class video number 22. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214, week 4, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about the choose function to choose different tables. Because sometimes you're trying to get a commission rate, but you have different tables you need to look up from. So here we have units sold, but depending on the product, we have a different commission rate. So if there was some way to do VLOOKUP, but when we got to the table for VLOOKUP, we could then look up the table. All right. The first thing is we actually have to look up the, the table. We have one, two, three. We're going to use the choose function to choose a table. But the way choose works is it, it works off of one, two, three. So this is going to be one, this is going to be two, this is going to be three. So first, I'm going to create a second column that says which table I need to go look up. Well, I'm going to use VLOOKUP for that. I'm going to say, hey, look up the product, comma, within this. Now, I had to make this. And anytime you're using uh, choose, you have to determine you know, which order your tables are. But no problem. F4 to lock it comma, the table number is in the second column, 2, comma, and then we're doing exact match. Control Enter. That's number formatting. Control Shift tilde or go to the drop down and apply general. Control Shift tilde or grave accent applies general number formatting and then copy it down. So now our formula here will know which table we need to go look at equals, well, this is easy. If we only had one table, we'd just use VLOOKUP. I'm looking up, oh, units sold. And let's just for a second just highlight the first table, pretending that we only have one table. F4, comma, the second column has our commission, so I type a 2. We are doing approximate match. Every single first column is sorted. Close parentheses. All right, so that would work. If I change it right now, it's bumping into the bigger one and jumping back. So if I change this to 125, the lookup function takes the 125, bumps into the first one bigger, and jumps back and gets the 2%. Control Z. Ah, let's go ahead and highlight. That's what we need to replace. We need to use the choose function. Now, the choose function, all you got to do is you, you actually load all the tables into the choose function and then just tell it either 1, 2, or 3, and the choose will deliver the table to VLOOKUP. So you ready? Choose. Index number, that's the 1, 2, or 3. Index number. And then you can put whatever you want here. Table, table, table. Now, the amazing thing about choose is it will look up anything, a cell reference, a table, a number, an array, a function, a formula. It's the only function that can look up all sorts of different things. But you actually have to load all of the things into the formula. So ready? I'm going to highlight the first table. F4. That's value 1, comma. Value 2 is going to be the second table, F4 comma. Value 3, that's going to be the third table, F4. So that's all we have is three values, close parentheses. Now let's go ahead and highlight that. All choose is doing is picking either 1, 2, or 3 based on this formula, which is based on the product. Are you ready? That's it. Control Enter. Double click and copy it down. All right, so EDR. This formula took the 65 and it went to the right table. It bumped into the first one bigger and jumped back and got the 1%. For EDS, this formula, look this up. Because we're using choose, it knew to go down to this. It took the 563 and went down to here, bumped into the first one bigger and jumped back 4%. That is totally amazing. Now, a lot of times you cannot have this column right here. So we're going to have to do our trick. Is C6 in our formula? Yes. It's looking at a cell reference. Yes. Is there something in that cell reference? Yes. So we can copy and paste and simply put it where the C6 is. 
I'm actually going to do it down here so we can keep both of them. Copy it in edit mode. That way all of our cell references will not move. Copy, escape, control V. So I got that there. Control enter and I'm copying it down. Now put this in edit mode that this choose index number is looking right there. So now I'm going to go get that without the equal sign. Control C, Escape, F2, double click or click on the screen tip and Control V. Now, you know, when you start doing this, the formulas look big and scary and you're like, oh no. But just make sure you highlight the right thing, Control V, close your eyes and Control Enter. Copy it down. Now, if we didn't have this, right, these wouldn't work, but this one would because it's all in one place. I'm going to control Z. So, sometimes you need choose, especially for different tables for lookup. What's nice about choose is these tables can be anywhere. Not only that, even a better way to do it is to give each one a different defined name, which we've done multiple times in this class, and then slap them in there. The other thing, choose it just can look up anything now in this class this video all we're going to do is look at choose to look up tables however if you're curious there is a reference video and in this video there's 12 examples and I do show you all the different things that you can put in to choose and load up and and uh, look up all right we'll see you next video